Hello! Welcome to Mr. and Mrs. Walker's Designs on YouTube and Mr. and Mrs. Walker's Attic on Etsy. Um, I just wanted to come on here today and show you some things that I'm adding to the shop. And this is a, uh, what I'm going to call a summer garden journal kit, junk journal kit. And um, it has quite a bit in it, so I wanted to do a video showing what all is in it, and I will um, link the video uh, in my Etsy listing or store so you can um, get to it from there as well if you'd like to see it from there. Um, I, there of course, I'll be posting all the pictures that that you know that you post in Etsy as well but it's just easier to show on a video so let's get started um, this kit was inspired by one of the sheets of paper or book page that you will see in here um, it will come in this big uh, sorry for the glare but it will come in this this big bag and um, some of the pages are too big to leave flat. I have a couple that are just kind of folded over here. One's a calendar page and one is a scrapbook piece of uh, scrapbook paper. And so um, that's just the way I'm having to ship it. Um, I am going to ship it in a bubble mailer. And since I'm shipping it in a bubble mailer, I am going to include in, um, in the bag here a piece of foam core. Uh, that gives it some stiffness so the papers don't get bent, um, but it doesn't add any weight. So that keeps the shipping down for you. So let's just pull it all out. In the bag here. Let me set that aside. Okay, so. I'm going to start with the paper, so I'm going to set that aside, and that aside, and I'm going to set that aside. So this is the page here that inspired me to make these kits. I'd had, uh, I bought these, um, these books at thrift store, and these pages were just so gorgeous, um, and I, I didn't want to fold them. You know to make something out of them so I was like well I'll make I've got three of them I'll make kits so so you get one of these sheets and then out of the same uh, I think these are the time life books out of that same book you'll get another sheet of roses this is just writing on the back on that one you're going to get this book page this book page now all the book pages aren't the same uh most of them came out of the same book or books but of course i chose different ones and then you're also going to get some tea dyed paper you're going to get a piece of lined notebook paper that is tea dyed hold on I had to move my fan is blowing my papers around um you're going to get this piece of paper this is um just a printer test page but I thought they looked really cool, so um, you're going to get this. That's tea dyed. You're going to get a piece of sheet music that's tea dyed. And then you're going to get two sheets of, um, this is like marker pad, I think is what it's called. It's bigger than 8.5 by 11, but it's two big sheets of plain tea dyed paper. You're also going to get a sheet out of a of a uh, word book and I tried to pull out the sheets that related to gardening or um, plants so this one has plants on it and then you're also going to get a sheet from uh, a really old and most of the stuff most of the sheets of um, or book pages are vintage so anyway you're going to get a piece of this or I don't know why I'm saying piece. A sheet or a book page of, uh, this is from a Dewey Decimal Index book that's really old. And so, again, I tried to pull out um, 
excuse my nails, um, I tried to pull out the sheets that related to gardening. So you get that. You're also going to get a sheet of wrapping paper. It has beautiful roses on it. You're going to get a sheet of ledger. And it is really long. It is, I've measured this before, but it's probably about 16, 15 inches long or something like that. So you're going to get a spread. You get, actually get a spread of that. And then you're going to get this beautiful piece that is um, from an art book. A vintage 1960, I think it's 60s, I'm not sure though, art book. And it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous book page. So those, and then also the ones that are folded, um, you will get a calendar page. Let me turn it right side up. And a floral scrapbook, piece of scrapbook paper. Okay, those are your large pieces of paper. Set that aside. Okay, and then in this bag, you are going to get a piece of wallpaper border. It is really, really pretty very pretty pinks and it's got a, a gloss or a sheen to it just picking that up but really pretty piece of wallpaper border you're also going to get a piece of uh, vintage parchment paper this was already cut like this so I just folded you up a sheet uh, it's got a really nice patina to it I've used that in stuff you're also going to get one of these like um, gardening flip outs they you know they would come like in a, a binder a club or whatever so you're going to get one of those you're going to get a smaller sheet um, this is like a sketchbook a small sketchbook size of tea stained paper you're going to get um, a steno, this is, steno pad was purple to begin with, but it is a really pretty gray now from the tea staining. You're going to get a few sheets from a book from the late 1800s that has some really nice discoloring on it. It would be really nice for collage even. And then I have a, a Better Homes and Garden garden binder from 1966, so I pulled some things out of that. So you're going to get a divider out of that book, along with three other pages, I believe, yeah. Three other pages, one being an index page with a colored picture on it, a photograph. Another page that has like a photograph, but it also has some diagrams at the bottom. That. And then you're going to get one that kind of shows like a landscape plan. So you have that. Okay. So that's in that second bag. And then you're also going to get these are called um these are not the ones from the dollar tree um these are called tea sniffer cans um they are used in tea and coffee stores so you can put a sample inside and then it has i don't know if you can see that or not it's kind of a glare and they have little slits in the top so you can sniff the tea or the coffee or whatever without having to take the lid off um so inside of this i've got some bling stuck to it you're going to get um, a little rosebud a paper flower a 
ribbon rows. And these are all these will be different colors. Well, this one, this rosebud's the same color, but um, you will get a little mini clothespin that has a floral print on it. You get a silk leaf. You'll get a vellum rose. You will get a fleur de lis. You will get a little bitty piece of chipboard with a design on it. You will get a micro tag. You will get uh, um, a small tag that has been embossed and cut out by me and then I'm not going to take all this out hopefully you can see that you got three butterfly sequins and some stars and I mean some circles and hearts so that's what is in the little sniffer tin Okay, and then the last bag you are going to get either a piece of lace or this one has eyelet, so you get a pretty good amount of eyelet, and then you get a piece of chipboard uh, attached to the lace or eyelet with a dark safety pin. So you have that. You're also going to get about 11 inch square of fabric. And then you're going to get a pocket that I have made that is full of ephemera. Okay, so this is a pocket made out of a file folder. This is the back. They all, all three, I have three kits, and all three kits have the file folder pocket, but they all look a little different. And I'll show you what they look like. So in this pocket, you're going to get a die cut flower. You're going to get a cut out of a, some flat, a small, you, you'll get two flower cutouts like this. You'll get a smaller one and then a larger one. This is a smaller one. You'll get some type of words of encouragement. You will get a rose sticker. This is a sticker. You will get a piece from or a page from a perpetual calendar that has some sayings on them. And I found, I just happened to find three of these. Uh, they're all three different, but they were cut out of some type of uh, religious book, uh, or uh, Christian religious book, but I don't know what. And they were stuck in that, um, that 1894 book. So I thought I would just go ahead and include them because it was exactly the number I needed. So this is just... They're just like little poems. Um, this is called, this one's called Wise Weeping. And then you will get two tea dyed index cards. You will get one tea dyed guest check. You will get a blank note card that is floral. And then that's the bottom pocket. And see, so this this particular um, folder looks like this on the front. And then in the top pocket, you will get a journaling card. You will get three tickets that have been tea dyed. You will get a large fussy cut floral piece that uh, all of these fussy cuts I've done myself so you will get that 
you will get a Victorian Rose 2019 calendar. Um, I know it's halfway done, but you can still use this. This is beautiful. And then in this little bag, I have stuck another fussy cut piece right here. And then you're going to get two, um, uh, well, a fussy cut butterfly and then a square that I have cut out of a Daphne's diary. And then behind the fussy cuts, you get um, a verse or a word of spiritual encouragement or phrase. You will get a lot, like I said, a larger floral cut out like this. You will get a piece of vintage stationery as in an envelope. And then you will get a book page. This is watercolor weight paper. It's very pretty. I just found this book, so I decided I would share in these kits. So that is what you will get in this kit. Um, hold on just a second. This can be a little fussy. <laughs> Let me just get this moved out of the way. So I can show you briefly what the other kits look like. I'm not going to go through each one of them just like that one, but I can show you, you know, kind of how they differ. Okay, so here is the second one. So in this one, you get um, the sniffer tin with all the stuff in it that's uh, almost exactly the same. You're going to get a piece of lace with a piece of chipboard uh, clipped on. This is the fabric that is in this one. This is the scrapbook paper and the calendar. And here is the way this folder looks. It is uh, plain on the back. I decided to fold it this way instead. But all the stuff inside is very similar to what I just showed you. All of this is the same. Of course, you have different. Um, the, these will be different. This will be different. But it's very similar. Index page graph gardening layout landscape layout this page Let me make sure i'm in frame there's a page the same wallpaper i mean um same gift wrap these are the same here is the inspiration piece here is another book page from that same book same and then here is this gorgeous art book page okay so there is that one you know what i think i just got them mixed up that's okay i'll get them fixed and then the last one looks like this sorry it was a little further away so you're going to get a piece of like fuchsia lace with a piece of chipboard this is what this fabric looks like this is what this scrapbook paper looks like and calendar page i'm gonna set this one aside before i get them all mixed up here is this folder pocket this back looks like Looks similar to the first one, but this one's pink instead of green. All this is the same, same, same. Here is your sniffer tin. The same things. Here is the binder fold out. The Better Homes and Gardens pages. And probably what I'm going to do is list this as one 
listing and um, name them something a little differently. Variations on Etsy. Here is the inspiration page for this one. And here is the art page for this one. Just gorgeous. Okay. So probably what I will do, since the lace is the, the kind of the defining difference in these kits, I'll probably list them. And, and Etsy now has where you can do a photo for each variation. So um, I will list them probably as fuchsia lace, white lace, and then white eyelet. And that way you can kind of know um, which one is which. So that is what is being added when this video uh, goes up. They should be in there. Um, I really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like these well enough to go get one. And uh, I appreciate your business if you do. Please su support small business. <laughs> um, this is part of our livelihood. So it is and I love doing it, so it is just, you know, it is a joy. Um, uh, thank you for watching again. Please like, subscribe, and share. And um, I hope you have all have a great day, and God bless, and thanks. Bye-bye.